Hey guys, it's just now, it's almost 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm just now um, getting around to filming a little. I'm sitting here on the couch um, working on my some of my patterns I'm designing. I'm trying to get them remade so that I can take photos of them because as usual, I forgot to take pictures of the progress the first time, but that's okay. Uh, I got it set up over there, so I can't really show you, <laughs> but um, I'm actually really excited about these, and I'm going to try to get these out pretty soon, uh, these ones. My amigurumi is still out being tested, but um, I don't really think this pattern is going to need to be tested because it's really easy, simple pattern, and um, I've already made it a couple times, so I'm, I've am i kind of tested it myself, but um, yeah, I'm sitting here. I just finished watching the last episode of Handmaid's Tale Season 3. And I was crying, <laughs> but um, if you've not seen that show, it's it's a pretty triggering show. So if you you know you proceed with caution, if you go to try to watch it, it's, it's a Hulu exclusive too. But um, I just finished it. And now I'm already excited for next year. I can't wait to see season four. I got laundry going in the background, and I just did some laundry. I'm gonna turn that around and show you. I, I was at my sister's house recently, and she had this thing, this little um laundry cart thing and I really liked it and uh, she told me where she got it which was Walmart so I went and got me one and I, I already love it <laughs> this thing it, you can put baskets down at the bottom to hold you know undergarments and stuff hanging clothes Jesse's clothes that bar on the top whoop, extends up way higher like you could have two layers of grown-up size clothes hanging there so now I've got uh, hangers chilling out on that side, waiting for Devin's laundry. It's in the dryer right now to get done. And then I can wheel that around the apartment and put all the clothes where they go without having to make a thousand trips grabbing bunches of them. So I love this thing. And it was only like, it was 14 something, but it, ours, it was rolled um, back or whatever it's called. And it was like $12 or something. So I'm like, woohoo, it's awesome. Hey guys, uh, me bit again, obviously. <laughs> I just realized I was sitting here, I just got done cleaning the kitchen and I realized I haven't really filmed like at all today. But uh, it's because I've been working on things I can't even share with you guys yet, so um, that's why. But earlier today I finished, um, I think I done said that, that I finished one of my other patterns. Man, that, that right there is creeping me out. I hate it when doors are just a little bit open. I gotta fix that. The door is off its hinge and I can't get it to stay on it. It's broken or something. But anyways, um... What was I saying? I finished uh, my pattern and I took a bunch of pictures of a couple of them and put them in their, you know, their WordPress thing or whatever it's called, Word Notepad thing, WordPad, um, until I get it all the way done and then I will turn it into a PDF and then it'll be Final Cut or whatever. <laughs> but I was sitting here watching some YouTube videos while I was cleaning and now I gotta, I need to work out. It's like, it's after 8 o'clock. <laughs> so I need to get in a quick workout and... Then I'll probably sit down and start working on some more of the Jada and Stitches um, pumpkin treat bags because I want to make some more of those for my craft fair. And I want to hurry up and make like six more of them so that I can move on and find a new pattern to start making some of for the craft fair. Let's see here. I've got, today's the 14th. So I've got four, about seven weeks to keep making stuff for the craft fair so I've got plenty of time to make a lot of little things for the craft fair I want to make a bunch more little stuff and then I want to make a couple bigger amigurumi um to go with the ones I already have that are bigger ones well I can't speak <laughs> bigger ones um because I want to have a few big ones that are going to be higher priced obviously and then I, I want to have a ton of little ones and I've been making those gift bags and I might um try to find some other Halloween type um things to make or at least themed things. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see. <laughs> hey guys, I realized I didn't film much yesterday, so I'm just gonna add yesterday's on to this one. You probably already seen it, but today is Thursday, um, the eighth, maybe? No, it's not the eighth. That was last week. What is today? I don't know. It's Thursday. <laughs> the fifteenth? Yes, the fifteenth. I'm sitting here, Devin just left for work, and so I'm sitting here in the living room. I brought my uh, material and cutter stuff and all that in here. I'm going to um, cut all the Halloween bags and goat bags <laughs> out and try to get them ready to start sewing probably tomorrow. If I get them all cut today, I'll start sewing tomorrow so that I can get them all in the shop 
sometime next week, probably t next weekend uh, is what I'm shooting for. <laughs> so, um, yeah, tomorrow I should get the carousel package from uh, the one that Rose sent from Rose Likes Crochet. I'm supposed to be getting that tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. I will make a video about what I keep from that. And I'm just going to sit here and try to find a movie to watch. i got laundry going in the background. So, uh, you might hear that, but that's okay. i got to wash clothes. <laughs> okay, after that gets done, i got to do a load of towels. And then I'm going to sit over here and work on some more of those pumpkin drawstring bags for my craft fair. And then I found an amigurumi that I want to make. Um, the, the person who makes the pattern, I can't remember what they are, but I'll share it when I share the, the pattern. Or the the product, you know, when I finish it, whatever. <laughs> whatever I'm trying to say. Um, it's cow. And they have a large amigurumi size, and then they have a small one. for the same. It's like the same pattern, just you know, two different sizes. I want to make a couple of the big ones, and then maybe a couple of the little ones. I don't know. We shall see. I live in the south, so I think cows would be a pretty popular uh, piece. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to sit here and let you guys know what I'm doing today. Jesse's at my mom's, and Devin just left for work. I have no idea what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. I'm still really full right now. It's a little after 1. It's like 1.11. <laughs> so, um, I'm not even hungry. So, I don't know what I'm going to make later. I know I need to make a salad because I got a lot of cucumbers from my garden that I need to eat up. So, and I got some lettuce and stuff in there. So, I'll probably make a salad and... I might cook something with it, like a chick, you know, some chicken or something, but I might just eat some lunch meat with it because I've been eating a lot of turkey meat, and it's really good. I just like to eat it by itself, and Jesse does too when he's here. I don't know. I'll see you later if I come up with any ideas. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I just got done cutting out all the Halloween bags and the goats. That is 28 bag sets right there. It took so long to cut out, and now I gotta cut out the interfacing for the um, the zipper bags. And um, I was only a little bit short on my liner material. I have to go tomorrow and get two yards of uh, liner material for these bags right here, and uh, gotta get some more zippers. And then I will be ready to start ironing and sewing. Uh, I'm gonna cut as much interfacing out as I can right now. I think I have enough, but if I don't, I'll have to buy some more of that tomorrow too. But I'm trying to get all this done tonight so that when I go to the store tomorrow, I'll just have to go once and then I won't have to go back to the store until I get all these bags done. And when I get these bags up in the shop and sold, I'm going to go to Joann's and buy a whole bunch more material. <laughs> um, I'll probably start buying Christmas prints soon because um, they're already starting to put them out at all the craft stores and I want to grab some before they get sold out. And I love Christmas. So um, once I get all these Halloween bags out of the way, uh, I can start on Christmas bags and then some more just, you know, regular bags. But, um, all the regular bags in this update is just going to be goats. There's six goat sets, uh, going up and then 22 Halloween sets. There's so many. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm excited to get some of these out. I really love a lot of these prints. I love Halloween too. Christmas is my favorite, but I love Halloween. And I'm excited to get some Christmas material. And I'll get Christmas and then just some wintery ones. Because I know Christmas is everybody's um, holiday or whatever. And uh, try to cover most of the bases that I can. But yeah, so. Ugh, I'm so tired from cutting all these out. And I'll sit in the floor. And I realize it's not a good thing. I'm starting to get to the age where I probably shouldn't sit in the floor for long periods of time. Because it took me a minute to stand back up. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to cut the interfacing real quick. And then I'm going to sit down on crochet and just relax for a little while. Well, I couldn't wait any longer. I pulled out my Halloween decorations. I still gotta put up all the bats that are laying over there. Uh, I'm gonna have Devin help me hang them 